Welcome to day 165 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hurry Austin here in dire need of coffee and a little caffeine this morning. Today we're talking about, of course, relationship growth. We're talking about relationship growth with every day this month. And today's topic with respect to that is conflict. Conflict, conflict handling, what causes conflict, conflict resolution. And then our action item, of course, is going to be to do something with conflict. I'll share that at the end today. Sometimes I like to share it at the beginning. Sometimes I like to share it at the end. So today I'm feeling the end. Uh, <clears throat> conflict resolution and relationships. Co conflict is nearly as inevitable to me and in our lives as change is. And conflict is usually a change, right? It's a change in our relationship. It's a change in understanding. It's a change in communication. It's a change that happens that we don't necessarily feel good about. So that's when conflict starts to arise. So what are some symptoms and signs of conflict? Uh, our emotions usually give us a little red flag that there's something going on that we're not exactly happy with or feeling okay with. Uh, we might feel angry. We might feel resentful. We might feel anxious. We might uh, feel frustrated. We might feel stressed. Uh, how do we deal with conflict? Well, we all deal with conflict in different ways and we deal with different conflicts in different ways. Sometimes we avoid them. Sometimes we uh, get angry and attack the issue. Sometimes we uh, get aggressive and sometimes we go into overdrive and overreact on things. Uh, conflict often comes from communication breakdowns, just a misunderstanding. How many times have you gotten in a conflict or in an argument, because arguments are conflicts, or differences of opinion, <clears throat> because what you thought somebody did or said is not what they did or said. It's maybe what somebody else said they did or said. Uh, <clears throat> and that often causes a lot of conflicts. I would say uh, miscommunication or not communicating probably is responsible for 80% of the conflicts that we have with other people and in our relationships, and even with ourselves. Sometimes we don't keep our word to ourselves, and that causes internal conflict as well. There are, of course, different types of conflict. There's internal, external, interpersonal, intrapersonal. Intrapersonal is, you know, conflict within yourself. Interpersonal is with another person. Uh, we have conflicts with organizations and different business entities, right? Has anybody ever had a customer complaint? Well, I certainly have because I got a product or service that was supposed to do something and it didn't it didn't operate or it broke or it didn't do what it said it was going to do. And then you have to contact customer service to try to get some resolution to that defective product, which is also a conflict. Uh, there's a couple different ways that people handle conflict. We can either compromise. Sometimes a compromise works because each party gets what they want. It's a win-win solution. Uh, we can collaborate. We can join forces together and decide together how to handle the situation, what to do about the situation. Or we can accommodate. We can just say and give the other person their way or just say to ourselves, it just doesn't matter. So I don't have a problem. I can accommodate your wishes in this situation because it just doesn't matter to me. And some things are important. If it's against our core values, we're going to hold tight to that and stick to our guns. But if it's something that, you know, just really doesn't matter in the overall scheme of things, especially with respect to the relationship, we're probably not going to uh, cause a ruckus about it or have an argument about it. Um, <clears throat> a couple of the tools that we can use, of course, to help to reduce conflicts or deal with context, context, context when they arise. Conflicts when they arise is to use active listening, use our effective communication skills, just quizzed ourselves on those a couple of days ago and we know where we are strong and we know where we are weak and all we have to do where we're weak is practice active listening practice not interrupting practice not shouting practice reacting the way you want to react so what's our action item today uh there's a write-up of course and guide to the let's grow annual challenge private facebook group page you can go there and you can see cleo's story today and cleo goes through her life and the different types of conflicts and how she handles them in different phases of her life just like we do but what we're going to do today for an action item is we're going to think about one conflict either that we've had in our life in the past or that we're experiencing right now because guess what sometimes we're experiencing conflicts right now like every day there's some kind of a conflict sometimes so we're going to think about it 
And we're going to ask ourselves a couple of questions. We're going to try to identify the root cause of that conflict. Was it a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or an assumption? Did you or someone else make an assumption about something that was incorrect? Imagine that, an incorrect assumption. Uh, what was the outcome and how did it make you feel? Did you did it get resolved? Did the conflict get resolved or not? If it's still not resolved, then how do you feel about that? And then ask yourself a couple more questions. What could have happened in this situation? And how else could I have handled it or dealt with it that might have been better? And then just share in the comments below one aha, one aha about a conflict that you've had. I've actually had so many conflicts in my life, like so many other people that have lived as long as I have, that I, I'm going to have to work on this and think about one that I want to pick. Right now I'm having conflict with my eye, but uh, <clears throat> that's a weird story too. If I can help you anyway, if you have any questions, hit me up and ask. Uh, I am here. I am on couch potato duty for a couple of days, doctor's orders. So I'm available if you've got any questions or you need any help. Just ask. Have an awesome day. Of course, do it tomorrow.